This week on Sport Fishing, we're fishing aboard the Ocean Odyssey out of H&M Landing, San Diego, California. We're offshore right now, and what we're going to be doing is looking for bluefin tuna, yellowfin, and if we get lucky, maybe even a dorado or two. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez, and I live to fish. All right. <laughs> I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh! Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. Yeah, he didn't want to stop. Mine was a little bit more. Come back in here. Come on. Come with us. Come with us. Back up. We're walking underneath. Under, under. There. Right there. Right there. Right there. Odyssey style.
Two landed on the boat, so see if we can keep it going until uh, we head out of here. So, okay, here's my fish. There we go. Woo! Yeah. There we are fishing with Captain Rick, Ocean Odyssey. Beautiful tuna, my first tuna of the season. Thanks, man. Okay, we got more going. So guys, we've been out here all day. We started at about five in the morning trolling and fishing meter marks, and we just didn't get bit. Not till the end of the day. It was like 1 p.m. before we got the first bite, got that first fish in the boat. And that's part of being a tuna fisherman, or just being a fisherman in general. You can't give up. You have to believe that that magical stop is gonna happen and you gotta fish hard. In a season like we've had this year where it hasn't been, you know, thousand fish dock counts, you have to work at it to catch a fish. So Dwayne's got a fish going here, Anthony's got a fish going there. I just landed my tuna and we got a few more fish going. You just gotta believe every minute that you're on the boat, you're gonna get bit and you have to keep working at it. And that's what's happening right now. So we're gonna see how Dwayne does on his and Anthony on his. Anthony's been on his fish for a good hour now. And uh, Dwayne's got a little bit heavier gear. Should be easier for him. But he's, he looks like he's having a little trouble. Come on. Right now, right now, right now. Grind, grind, grind. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Look at that big. Nice fish. Nice fish. Wow. Woo, especially with Dan Hernandez. Ocean Odyssey. This week in the Tackle Box, I'm going to talk to you about what we're doing today aboard the Ocean Odyssey. We're going offshore and we're really close to San Clemente Island. We're fishing for bluefin tuna. And the bluefin tuna on this day are being very picky. They're hard to catch. We're seeing lots of fish. They're just looking at our baits or they get scared by the boat and they take off. And because of that, we're fishing a little bit lighter lines. And more importantly, we're using lots of fluorocarbon. So here's the basic gear you need. Something like this with 30 pound will work out fine for those smaller fish. 20 to 30 pound fish, 35 pound fish, that's all I would use for this. Anything bigger than that, this will be too small. For those larger fish, the 40 pound fish on up to 60 or 80, this works out great. 
you want to put 80 pound spectra on the bottom you want 40 or 50 pound mono depending on the size of the fish and 40 to 50 pound fluorocarbon if you just stay with the 50 pound you're probably safe on those bigger fish the fish i'm catching today are all over 40 pounds and this is the outfit i was using and 40 or 50 pound fluorocarbon will work you really have to have the fluorocarbon when the water is crystal clear like we're finding today with these bluefin and when you're finding these bluefin a lot of people like to use different types of hooks different styles of hooks both circle hooks and j hooks will work but you got to use a larger hook i see people all the time put on a thin wire or two small size hook and they do hook the fish maybe a little bit more but lots of times the hooks will break or open up on them that's why i like a nice heavy hook like this three wire three x wire hook my mustad works out fine and you, you can go with the circle hook or j hook and this is a j hook here and it works out really good again the big key is when you're fishing in conditions like this where the water is really clear fish are being very picky it's very important to use fluorocarbon i can't emphasize it enough use the fluorocarbon when you're fishing right on the surface with no weight especially for these bluefin they're super super picky it's going to give you a big advantage don't use the light lines if you start seeing fish over 40 50 pounds and we had several fish today lost over 100 pounds this guy sucked them on 25 and 30 fought them for an hour two hours they never landed them one we never saw it might have been even bigger than that all right well let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on sport fishing <laughs> You got him. fighting this fish he's straight up and down now this is when I wish I had a two-speed reel on so I'm just gonna lift up as I can and just take a crank slowly lift up here comes that another fish he's been on for over an hour on this fish let me get out of his way I'm hooked up again on the Ocean Odyssey. I got all my mono down there. I'm almost down to my spectra. Fish bit it. Hopefully I get this one to be my limit for today. Thanks for the crew, man. These guys helped me out a lot, man. These guys are the best, man. Ocean Odyssey.
Anthony's been on this fish for a good 45 minutes. Every time he gets close to the boat, the fish starts to run on him. Even though he has a two-speed reel, he hasn't been able to power the fish up. It's been pretty aggressive, this fish. It's been really hard on him. <laughs> We're going to take a little break from the action here by the Ocean Odyssey and go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious tuna we're catching today. We'll be right back. This week in the galley, we're in Lakewood, California at Mama Sushi. It's a sushi place that I've been to a few times. Nice little restaurant, has a nice sushi bar. Standing next to me is a head chef here, Pat. Hey Pat, thanks for having us over. Good one, it? <laughs> and what do you have in store for us today? Oh, we're gonna make some uh, sashimi first, start with like uh, tuna with blue sheet and some uh, wasabi yuzu sauce. So we're gonna start with the plate first. And what kind of tuna is this? It's a bluefin tuna, this one. Okay. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna cut the sashimi way. Now we have some blue cheese and wasabi juice sauce. This we can get from the Asian market. It's not that hard for quite the, the ingredients. This item, yeah. Oh, you mix them together. Yeah, we're gonna mix together with sauce. Done. All right, Pat, I have to try this. This looks delicious. Yes, try it. With blue cheese. I never had blue cheese on sashimi before. Yes. <laughs> that is really delicious. Yes. Well, thank you very much, Pat. I've uh, had many meals with you in the past. <laughs> okay. I'm glad we got you on the TV show. Oh, okay. This is really nice. Yeah, remember this is Mama Sushi in Lakewood, California. Really unique dish. Never thought of having sashimi with blue cheese. Comes off really good. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Fish is that color, so I'm gonna to try to get it up here close enough for the deck hand to gaff it. Just gonna work on it and lift it up nice and easy, not pull it out of the water. There he is down there. There he is. Yeah! Woo! Woo! My first bluefin tuna limit of the season on the Ocean Odyssey. Awesome. Beautiful, nice, big fish. Got him on a fly line bait, three-out live bait hook, 
50 pound fluorocarbon, 40 pound, no, 50 pound mono. And uh, it's a great combination. Thanks, man. Nice awesome. stick. We're going to take a little break from the action here aboard the Ocean Odyssey, San Clemente Island. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what we did today in the Ocean Odyssey. You know, we fished really hard, and the big tip is never give up. The skipper didn't give up on trying to find the fish, and those guys fished really hard at the rail, put fresh baits on time, they were rewarded and they got those fish. That's what I had to do, just spend some time at the rail, and when we got on that one school that wanted to bite, that's how we got the fish. Now, Captain Rick also mentioned that's really important that you make sure all your gear is working good. Fresh drags, fresh line on your reels, and nice sharp hooks. Well, I want to thank the crew of the Ocean Odyssey, Captain Rick, and all the guys that did a great job. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.